Okay, so welcome to back to uh, part five, uh, part four rather, of uh, this video in which we are proving that the uh, metric space uh, CAB, which is the set of continuous functions on the interval AB, along with the integral metric defined on that set, uh, is not a complete metric space. So uh, we have defined a sequence of functions. Um, which we believe is going to be a Cauchy sequence, which we're hoping is going to be a Cauchy sequence. And so far, what we've found is that the distance between any two of those functions in that sequence is going to be b minus a over 6 uh, times 1 over little m minus 1 over little n, where we assumed that n was greater than or equal to little m. So now, let's just uh, remember the Cauchy criterion. So if we've got a sequence s, which is the sequence f1 of x, f2 of x, f3 of x, etc., uh, which we uh, want to check whether this is a Cauchy sequence, then what we need to do is for all epsilon greater than zero, there needs to exist a big N, which is an element of the natural numbers, uh, such that uh, if little n and little m are greater than or equal to big N, it implies that the distance between, oh dear, the distance between f little n of x and f little m of x is going to be uh, less than epsilon. Okay, uh, so if we make, if we just choose, what we need to do is find some f big n of x such that if you choose any two, any two terms of this sequence, f little n of x and f little m of x, which are beyond it, uh, then, um, then this, um, then uh, the distance between them is going to be less than epsilon. So let's imagine we've found such a little a uh, big N. So imagine we've found such a big N, and we have chosen little n and little m to be greater than or equal to this big N. Then what we know is that the distance between f little n of x and f little m of x, and again we'll assume that little n is greater than or equal to little m, so again we'll assume that of these two, uh, if one is bigger than the other, then n is the one that's n little n is the one that's bigger. Okay, this distance between them is going to equal b minus a over six, uh, one over n minus one over n. Now, if both little n and little m are greater than or equal to big n, then it implies that one over little n is less than or equal to 1 over big N, and that 1 over little n is less than or equal to 1 over big N. So, if we now substitute in uh, this result here, uh, then um, what we will get uh, is that... 